Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, last year I did a video detailing my process and cost of building in Kenya. Kwa hiyo video niliguza mambo ya biodigester. Hii building tuliweka biodigester. I would like you to see my biodigester system when you know it. Four houses in this building. Kuna one shop, two, three, four. Each shop iko na two heads. Kuna sink na kuna cho. Zikisha kuja under the piping, sink inaleta maji wapi? Hapa. Kwa hiyo man, this is the final manhole. To it a correction point here yeah. all sinks eh? maji ya sink eh? juu kila nyumba iko na kasink eh? alafu kwa choo kila nyumba inaleta hapa so this happened to choo yote ina kama si chafu naweza ileta naweza kama uicheke inuki fun enough choo zikishaka hapa zote zote nne zina kama kwa this hapa sasa ndo tumeka biodigester these are nini letter eh? something that you can use kujua what's happening in the biodigester na ni pipe imeingia hapo na iko here tight so ukitaka kujua you just open this eh? hii ni ya pili hii kitu ni ya 1 meter by 1 meter by 2 meter so it's 2 meter cubed hii biodigester yote ni ya 2 meters cubed and then kutoka hapo inale sasa ikisha hiyo uchafu ya cho ikisha toka hapo inaingia kwa soapit there is a good advantage hakuna maji na toka nje ya proti so maji yote ya hii hii ya hii proti ko self -control iko yote iko hapa and then now juu uchafu ya kitchen ama uchafu ya sink na maji ya sink tutaki ingie kwa biodigester inakuja kwa correction point yake yote hapa one correction point ikisha toka hii correction point inaenda direct to the soap pit so soap pit ndo ya mwisho kuna biodigester ina kama hapo cho inaingia kwa biodigester and then kwa soap pit nayo kitchen juu ni maji peke yake kwa correction point ama manhole ya mwisho direct kuna aiguzani na biodigester direct to the soap pit soap pit nayo ni at two by two by uh, seven feet it's more than two meters to say me two point three meters because lazima uh, ikuwe slanted na imeja mawe so ilikuwa na ilikuwa na a lot of hardcore and then inafunikwa so tuliamua biodigester kwa nini over septic so first of all tulifanya a lot of research of which it's good to always to do your research na ujue ni nini yenye inakusutu ewe so number one research yenye tulifanya tulikundua that in, in our municipality ama in our local area health officials wandateta sana na waste kitoka nje ya proti so they want you to contain that waste in your, in your premises na number one septic ingekuwa so hard for us to contain that waste so biodigester ili tupatia a good option um, embayo inge contain that waste cha ni kueleze how a biodigester works ikisha leta uchafu hapa collection point one kuna kama manhole kako hapo kamoza kana collect your waste hiyo waste inakuliona bacteria on the bigger part ikisha kuliona bacteria ina break your down by those enzymes with a vacuum those enzymes work well in the vacuum so lazima umekishu kwa hizi vitu ni airtight na haina hewa haitoi hewa so when zikikuliwa zinatoa in, in the other part ikiwa maji and then sasa inatoka ikiwa inaingia kwa soap pit ikiwa the same water kama yenye inatoka kwa, kwa kitchen so zikikifika kwa soap pit ni maji some people wana wanatumianga hii maji iki sasa ikitoka clean water it's not clean water to drink but it's clean water that tunaweza lima nayo some homesteads eh, kwenye especially kwenye kuna shida ya maji people opt hii maji instead yende chini kwa ground kwa soap pit wanaitumianga for irrigation of the, especially nyasi so unaona ina ina irrigate nyasi yao create your system ambayo iko underground nini ground inaishikia wet so the only thing in the jar ni soap pit kama ukujenga poa that's why si tulijenga soap pit ambayo ni ya 7 feet deep na and then ni kubwa ya 2 meters wide na tukajaza mawe when layers ukienda kwa septic pia iko na overflow but sasa septic kija hii kitu haitaija as long as ume maintain vacuum na enzymes septi kikija lazima uite hanisaka kakuja ka vute hii uchafu meona so that's an extra cost few months after another thing tukijenga tulikuwa tumepatio so many quotations eh? tunambio tunayeza kuja tukweke 1 meter cubed 2 meter cubed eh, at this cost and this cost and then tukapata tuka good contractor mwanyari tuambia buy for us this product tukuja tukujenge utulipe riba na tuende so huyo tukifanya esabu at the end of the day the price ata tulishtuka ili kuanga much cheaper compared to the kama tungejenga nini tungejenga septic what was the cost of building this juni mesema iko ili ili adapt kwa cheaper for the labor cost cost 40000 and hiyo hiyo ni labor cost ya kujenga ista alafu tukanunua hardcore tukanunua chuma because ma unue cement na tukanunua other so many other materials hizi pipes kila kitu total cost of materials ilikuja 35k na total cost of labor ilikuwa 40k so total cost of this ilikuwa 75k it's crude in 
hizi manholes hizi manholes zilijengo kando zili eko na mpaka hii pipe ilifanywa kando na mtu wa maji huyu ni mtu wa biologist na mtu wa maji so those are two different people vizuri realize hivyo zoto cost of 75k of which to jenga septic ingekuwa much more expensive na, na maintenance yake pia iko juu sana just imagine kuita hanisaka for one trip na kwa 7k sai na time consuming na ni chafu hii ni save hata ukiona hapa hakuna harufu we have opened this thing kutoka tuanze hii shoot eh? na hakuna na unaona bado inatumika na huo ni yeye unaona uchafu <laughs> so it's good na hata hakuna harufu mbaya who should not build a biodigester ama so far with my experience number one biodigester is a very delicate thing kukuwa nayo tuanze hapo junayo umesikia ina digest bio waste the moment you introduce new waste kama polythene diapers kitu yote haiwezi digestiwa hapa unaiweka blockage na hiki kitu kikiwa na block kubwa yenye huwezi toa na hizi 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 ventilation yenye huwezi aza kutoa ipate blockage kubwa the repair hii ni kubomoa yote na kuweka ingine <laughs> haina shortcut so in case ukuwe na a commercial building na unajua you can't control people na ile waste ama huwezi kaa sasa these are only for people na wote wana shops in me by they have a view video complaining that Swazi rentisha mtu wa mkahawa so i'm certain hapa kuta iko na mkahawa na club if najenga commercial building na najua kutakuwa na mkahawa kutakuwa na those other so many human activities tafadhali achana na hii but for homesteads and buildings and especially apartments this is the best way to manage your waste na itakusumbua and you won't regret it thank you <laughs>